When we are turning a wheel, from experience, we would normally push with one hand and pull with the other. Let's analyze these two forces. Assume the two forces are of the same magnitude and opposite direction. Therefore, they can be known as F and a negative F. And they each has a perpendicular distance of half a d from the center of the wheel, point O. We can write the force equilibrium equation that the resultant force acting on this wheel equals to F plus negative F, which is zero, which means that the forces cancel each other out, therefore have no translational effect on the wheel. These two forces are known as a couple. However, we can also calculate the total moment caused by these two forces about the center of the wheel. Since both forces are causing counterclockwise rotational effect about point O, therefore they both create positive moments about point O, and the total moment is positive F times D, with D being the perpendicular distance between the lines of action of these two forces. In fact, we can also try to summarize the total moment caused by these two same forces about another arbitrary point, point A, that is at a distance d prime from force F as shown. Now, this force is creating counterclockwise rotational effect about point A with a moment arm of d plus d prime, while this force is creating a clockwise rotational effect about point A with a moment arm of d prime. Therefore, the total moment can be calculated to be F times d plus d prime minus F times d prime, which is still F times d, the same as the moment we calculated earlier about point O. Even if we want to summarize the total moment caused by these two forces about a point, say point B, that is not even in the current xy plane. We can use the vector formulation to get that the total moment equals to position vector R1 cross F plus position vector R2 cross negative F equals to position vector R1 minus R2 cross F. And after applying vector calculation, this still equals to a moment with a magnitude of F times D pointing to the positive z direction, and this is still the same moment calculated about point O and point A earlier. Therefore, based on the previous three calculations, we learned that the moment of a couple is a free vector because it does not depend on the reference point, unlike the moment of a force, which is calculated differently depending on what point or axis you choose to calculate this moment about. The net external effect of a couple is that there's no net force, but only a net moment. The magnitude is calculated as F times D, D being the perpendicular distance between the couple. The moment of a couple is also a vector, just like the other moment or force vectors. Therefore, the calculation still follows the rules of vector calculation. In summary, to calculate the moment of a couple, in scalar formulation, the moment equals to F times D. F is the magnitude of one force, and D is the perpendicular distance between the two forces. You need to determine if the moment is positive or negative based on if the rotational effect is counterclockwise or clockwise. In vector formulation, the moment equals to R cross F. F is one of the force vectors, and R must be the position vector that ends on this force vector. As long as R is the position vector that ends on the force vector in your calculation, it can be any position vector that's between these two force vectors.